All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. In this video, we're gonna be doing the second step, which is polishing the car, getting the car all ready for PPF. And again, we're gonna be doing PPF on the front portion of the car. And in that video, we're gonna be speaking to Brandon. Um, and he's gonna be giving you a little breakdown about the benefits of it. And also, this is a used car, right? Why am I PPF in? We'll talk about it in the next video. But here we have Ed. Ed doesn't like to talk on camera, but we're gonna put the camera in front of his face. Um, Again, if you guys do see him, if you guys do become a customer at Hughes Detailing, ask him about Korean barbecue because he still to this day has oh, not oh, gone out. Oh, it's been oh. about a year. Last time I was here talking about it, it was the whole time. <laughs> and um, now he's working his magic. Would you say white is a hard car to uh, polish? White is definitely the easiest color because it hides a lot, especially with any sort of light or sun. It hides a lot of scratches, so you can kind of get away with it. Black, on the other hand, that's a mess. I hate those. Um, <laughs> Yo, why y'all laughing in the background, dog? <laughs> but it's it's these guys here just have a good time. They enjoy this, right? And also they have a good chemistry, which which is why they do some really good work. I'm not blowing smoke up your tush, but you guys do good work. A little work. But um, I'll let you work your magic. Enjoy the B-roll. You're gonna enjoy the cinematics of him working his magic. Maybe some other guys would jump on here and um, he's just a little confused right now. He's just figuring out what he wants to do. Yeah, I want to get that better. I want to get that a little bit better, so. Yeah, there, look, when you get a used car, there's, it's not gonna be perfect. There are some spots that need a little bit more TLC, and which is why the guys here have the experience, and they're gonna make it to a point where it's like almost perfection. Um, and I'm excited to see how this car looks, and I'm sure my wife's gonna love it, because when we got it the first time, she loved it, but when it comes back later on, she's gonna love it even more. <laughs> Alright, I'm interrupting this video to tell you guys that I have a set of new wheels. I know we're doing a lot of X5 content, but the wheels are actually on the car right now. So in a future video, you'll see that. But I'm telling you, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this video series of my wife's X5 going from pretty rough paint all the way to making it look like it's brand new. So I definitely want to thank the team over at Hughes Detailing for getting that all done. But I also wanna mention one of our sponsors that I haven't talked about in a while, and that's Simply Carbon Fiber. Simply Carbon Fiber is actually having a back to school sale and all the information you need to know is gonna be right over here. That's gonna save you some money when you purchase anything that's carbon fiber from their website. They have everything you need from wallets, keychains, shades, watches, and guys, I've been using their money clip for many of years already, probably about almost two years now uh, since working with them. It's something that holds all my cards, my cash, and I'm telling you guys, it's something I really enjoy using. So I definitely wanted to mention, if you guys wanna pick up anything from the website, I'll leave the link down below in the description. So let's jump back into the video and stay tuned guys. The wheels are gonna blow your mind when you see it in a future vlog. All right, so now we got three guys working on the car and now each one of them are methodically going through the process and they were describing that this BMW paint on the lower half is harder. So they have to take more steps on making sure that they find some perfection, um, enough to not damage the paint, enough not to damage the clear coat, but they're doing enough to make sure that it can be, for our eyes, perfection.
good too is that the guys here are here teaching me along the process too and tell me their thought process as they go into this. There's no secret recipe, but it's all based on their experience. So again, these guys are, are one of the best ones here in the South Florida region. All right, so Ed, I know we just washed the car before and we're washing the car again, Correct. and they're actually using a brush. And what's the reason of using the brush onto the car? Well, because since we polished the car, and you know, that usually naturally causes any sort of dust or dirt you know, to build up. So ideally, you kind of want to rinse it all off, use the brushes to kind of get in the edges where the film may be, just because you don't want any sort of debris in the, in the film because you always see it. So ideally, the purpose of the, of the brushes is to kind of get in the edges kind of push it all out so that then we can pressure wash it and you know pretty much make it clean yeah and the key step is trying to get all the contaminants off and the major thing is when you polish and the ones that don't have any experience with that a lot of dust does cake up i've seen it on my cameras i've seen it on the side windows while they're doing and working their magic but this is a very important step before you apply film or ceramic coating too right yeah, and ceramic coating too, yeah. you kind of just want the car in general as clean as possible before any step because if not you will see it in the long run. Yeah. And it's getting late. It's like 5.30. And I know he's I saying- it's later than that, six o'clock already. Oh my God, it's six <laughs> o'clock already. I got about an hour and a half drive later. I don't think I'm, I think I'm probably gonna get home by like 10 o'clock. And then I gotta probably. be back here tomorrow. Probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we almost done or what? Almost done what? It'll work. Oh, we're almost there. Just gotta yeah. rinse this out, that's it. Yeah. It's done deal. All right, day. so what has changed in your life? since we last talked? Bro, um, nothing much, man. Just, just working? Just school? Working, working in school, man. We've been coming here. Um, times has been blowing, going by. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, man. I haven't really done much. Just make more money. I hear you. That's it. Bank account's getting bigger. That's all it is.
What's your favorite part of this whole process? Oh, I love the coding part, man. It's yeah. Nice yeah. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> it's the most therapeutic part. It's all nice and easy. Because the last time we spoke to you, you said that the polishing. Yeah, and then I grew out of it. You grew out of it. So like now, now is the coding part. I like the coding a lot. Okay. Coding's, All right. Coding's pretty sick, man.